Hey guys, what's up? So, just got this package in the mail, and uh, what I wanted to do was add a 3.5 inch touchscreen to this little uh, Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. And uh, let me show you this real fast what I have on my printer. And I think they're actually kind of useless. These, uh, that's a 3.5 inch uh, MKS Maker Base uh, display. I think it's over 3.2 inch, yeah. TFT 32. Well, they're kind of useless, I think, you know. They're just like a like a computer, I mean, it makes it easier, but it's not, it's emulating a computer just sending G code commands. So it's not interfacing directly with Marlin. So you can't do like baby stepping, baby Z, that kind of stuff, you know? Which is, to me, kind of pointless. So, but I also use uh, Octoprint. So, like, literally, I never even touched that display. So I'm going to take it off there and I'm going to actually use this as my primary display. Then I think I'm going to add like one of those old school ones, you know? I think they're called like the LCD 2004 to control Baby Z. You know, have two different displays. Yeah, I thought it was cool at the time. I mean, it's color, but it's dude, it doesn't. It's useless. It doesn't do it. I use Octoprint, so you know. So I picked this up on uh, eBay, twenty bucks. Don't even know if it's gonna work or not. So, all right, came with a new low-profile heatsink kit. I have the the, the larger ones here on, on the Pi Four, but it's a uh, 3.5 inch. Uh, display here. And it's the one that just snaps right onto the uh, GPI opened. And it's. I don't know if this is a knockoff of the uh, Adafruit display or what it is, but it was 20 bucks for the whole kit. And that came with the the box, the heat sinks. I'm probably not going to use the box, but it came with the box. And. Uh, that's weird. Um, the box should have been a, well, no, it just fits on my guy, but it's, the box is supposed to be a LCD box. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Like in the picture, it showed a different, show. it showed the screen sitting on like that. So obviously that's not going to work, but I don't need that anyways. But uh, yeah, let's get this going. I also, I do already have a, a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with the 7 inch touch screen. Actually, I used to have this on there, on my on my printer, but um, like I said, it doesn't really, you know, Octa, I mean, I, I guess I I want the, the screen to be on my computer, or on the printer, so I can just, if I have to stop a print, I can just stop it right from the, the printer. I don't have to go back to my computer to stop the print. Or, you know, turn the, you know, emergency shut off or whatever. Um, let's open this up like that, last year. Yeah, so I don't even know. I've never actually even had one of these before, so let's... Like I said, I have the 7-inch touchscreen, but I don't have this one. So I have no clue what's going to even happen here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't do that because of the heat sinks. So let me... I'm going to take off the heat sinks. Be careful with these. And then I'm going to put the uh, low-profile ones on there. Alright, so I'm going to get the, uh, the low profile ones on there, and uh, we'll be back. I'm actually, I'm going to remove this out of the out of the case, too. Alright, so i got the heat sinks on, and uh, I put the tape back on these other ones so I could reuse them if I had to. Um, if you're wondering what's on, this thing's on, it's on a Dell R210 server, which is actually a firewall build. I'm making another video about that, but cool server for uh, firewalls. Alright, so let's... Uh, to get this thing on there. I'm guessing it's going like that. Alright, so there, yeah, that is actually correct right there. So, uh, most likely I'm going to have to install the drivers. I don't think it's going to have it in there. But I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not using graphical mode. This is actually uh, Aqua Print. So, by default, this shouldn't actually have the graphical environment installed. Um, the GUI, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's fire this up two downs. But actually, I do have an HDMI cable somewhere around here <laughs> for one of my monitors. All right, we'll plug it in and see what's up. All right, USB-C. All right. 
Alright, let's see what's up. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Yeah, I got that. So, okay. Alright, I'm not even sure if you can see that, but uh, finally got this thing to work. I've spent it about four to five hours trying to figure this thing out. Uh, the drivers don't actually work with the screen from their website. You have to manually do a configuration. And the uh, the drivers are actually built into the actual the, the OS, the kernel, whatever. Um, but if you try to download the drivers from their site, the different companies, um, it doesn't work. The uh, show 3.5 LCD thing. So um, I'll put together a list of what I did to get this to work and uh, how many how it's going gonna, it's gonna to work in Octopi. But uh, I'll put, uh, put on my uh, technical blog thing. All right. All right, there it goes. Booting up. Spent uh, about six hours trying to figure this out. Probably at least 30. I don't know how many fails. So, I mean, that's what you do in IT, though, man. You just keep on troubleshooting until you get it done. So, all right, yeah, so I put together an article about this on my uh, blog. So, I kind of went through the steps and things you have to do to make this work with this Raspberry Pi 4 and this cheapo Chinese screen here. Alright, loading the touch UI. Hope you can see that. Alright, take a look. So the, the trick was getting the screen was actually not that hard, but you know, getting this to, to go would, was a uh, kind of a nightmare, you know. You know. Getting the right direction, the orientation, the calibration. But uh in the document document I, I put together we'll have all in there, so. Um all right, let's let's check this out. All right. All right. Yeah, I saw the plastic on there so it's not Well, this is not even a great display anyways, but All right. So All right. So we have this thing operational. Check the camera. Look at this camera. There we go. Um Yeah, the colors are a little bit weird. Um, but I'll have to figure that out. That's not a big deal. So let's try home. Alright. We'll home the Z. Actually, I should probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, actually, no. As long as I don't do a G729. Excuse me, G29. <laughs> Sorry, I'm used to dealing with uh, voice of IP stuff. Um, protocols and stuff. So, alright. So... Cool, got it going. All right, so uh, yeah, if you want to know how I did this, uh, take a look at my document. I'll put a link down below. All right, cool.